So I can. Justin Wellington, small champ. We're talking about vaccine regrets when you don't have the vaccine and then you get COVID really badly or maybe worst case, somebody in your family says, I'm not having it and they die. John in Manchester, you were staunchly against the vaccine. That's correct, yes. And uh, I'm pleased to say my opinion hasn't changed. My, uh, my real question with the BBC is, I, and I have to ask this, Jeremy, I'm a big fan of your show, but... 1,500 people have died in the UK from taking that vaccine and the BBC haven't reported a single death. The BBC continued to plug a line that these vaccines are safe and so effective. I thought, hang on, in, your, in the note so, from your call when you spoke to our researcher, you say, I was a staunch anti-vaxxer and then I got the worst case of COVID ever in May this year. I regret my stance immensely. That's what I said to be able to be put through to the BBC. Oh, so, okay, yeah, so, so you, that's not your view. That's 100% not my view. No, my opinion and my view and my knowledge is that these vaccines are incredibly dangerous to humanity, not just... Yeah, but I mean, I just it's appreciated to help the show if you didn't lie to our researchers, that's all. I know it'd be appreciated to the health of the public if you didn't lie to the en masse to all the people in England. Mm. So you don't accept the, the science advice that says that 60,000 lives have been saved by the vaccine already in this country? I don't accept the advice of scientists that are on the payroll of a corrupt government or an international cartel. Tell no, us about your own and, uh, science qualifications. Please. Are you an epidemiologist or a virologist or a biologist? I'm someone that listens incredibly uh, and does a lot of research to a lot of epidemiologists, virologists, biologists and scientists all over the world. And this notion that scientists agree yeah. is complete cost. And you think, the, cost you think the scientists, you, you've come on here by lying to the researcher and now you're saying the scientists are lying to us? I'm saying there's thousands of scientists that are speaking the truth right now, just the BBC, are censoring them. People okay. need to do their own research. People need to ask the question, 1,500 people have died from taking their vaccine That's in not, the UK but that, alone that, and the that BBC is have not, not reported a single one of those deaths. Where are you getting that number from? This is from the government yellow card. That's not, but system. they're not. Anyone a, can go and see this, Jeremy. It's yeah. on the government own website. The, 1,500 my, people have died from this vaccine. Uh, yes, Over hang on, 1 hang on. You, people have suffered adverse reactions. You can't, yeah, but adverse reactions, including a pain in the arm. Listen, the 1,500 on the yellow including card. Heart attack, the yellow, including stroke, including don't, blindness, don't just, including deafness. No, hang on. The yellow card system is a self-reporting thing. We haven't, no one's established the connection between the vaccine and any of those deaths yet. Not a single one. It's simply a reporting thing. If somebody has the vaccine, they're dead the next day, that's reported. That doesn't mean they died from it. Do you understand that? Jeremy, apply the same logic to what you've just said. Do you understand what I just said? I understand what you've just said. I understand you need to try and whitewash these figures for the benefit of the public because you're working for a court media organisation, 100%. I understand Well, we've given you quite a long time on the phone considering you started on here by telling untruths to our researcher who's got better things to do. And you failed to answer the single question. Ask me a question. Why the BBC not reported the 1,500 people that have died from the vaccine? And all that dies from COVID is a front-page story for the BBC. And all that dies from the vaccine is completely ignored. I've just told you that the yellow card system is a self-reporting thing. It isn't established by science or scientists that there was any connection between any one of those 1,500 and the vaccine. That's why it's not reported as fact, because it isn't fact. It's a 100% fact. It's on the government's own website. Jeremy, you're severely on the wrong side of history. Okay, Tony, thank you very much. I did. Sorry, John, I did my best there. I hate to cut people off. Okay, Tony Davis in Darlington. You. I,